do a piece like I'm about to show, you need to decide whether that corrugation grain, you want it horizontal or if you want it vertical, depending on your image. For me, with the cupcake, I wanted it to be vertical so that, so when I did my plan and my layout, that mattered to me. So make sure you decide on that. Then I would say get a piece of cardboard to test or, you know, do, do a little bit of a trial and see if, see if you can control this X-Acto knife. So my students, I will have them do a couple of shapes. So maybe a triangle, something with a lot of straight edges. And I'm always um, slightly amazed that they don't, they don't really know how to use an X-Acto knife. So if I'm gonna keep them safe, then I need to teach them how to do that. So um, if your X-Acto knife blade is dull, it's actually a little more dangerous because you're gonna find yourself kind of tugging on it and I don't know, uh, wrestling with it. So uh, basically line up your blade handle with, with your line and you're gonna basically pull the blade towards you. And if, if you've scored it, you, you can kind of see it's, it's a ripply um, texture underneath this from the corrugation. I always say move, move your paper or move your cardboard do not move your hand. The motion that you're gonna go in is always this motion. You're always gonna be pulling it towards yourself. Don't put your hand in front of the blade. That's not how we hold it. Make sure your hand is out here, and that way if you have a slip, you're still safe. So what I'm not gonna do is this, like try to like move my arm like that. Um, don't contort yourself or twist yourself up make it really comfortable where this motion is all you have to really control. I'm not, I'm not cutting all the way through the cardboard. I'm just kind of scoring this top layer. So once I feel like I've gone around the perimeter and kind of released that top layer, I'll go to what I call like a little valley and I just use my blade and I just kind of top it up like that. So if I've done a good job scoring it, it controls the tear. Just like that. Then you can take your time and you know clean off this extra layer if you want to, depending on what you want your to look like. Okay, um, a shape with straight edges is much easier. Um, turns, I always do almost like a like a number eight um, shape. And if my students do a good job with this, I graduate them to this shape and say, all right, well if you can handle that, now try this. And then if they can handle this safely um, without me catching them putting their hand in a dangerous spot then then I let them move on from there so when I make a turn with my blade I treat it like I do when I turn with a bicycle so you kind of lean and turn so the blade the blade doesn't always have to just be like this so it's it's a lean and a turn Okay, and of course I'm moving my board. I'm not gonna get my other hand in any sort of jeopardy. My blade is a little less than um, <laughs> brand new. I'm finding that I'm having to saw it a little too much. So I think if I had a brand new blade, so now I go into the valley, pop it up, boom, controlled tear. That's what we want. So that is how we safely use our blade to remove that top layer and expose this corrugated nature of the cardboard to add interest and texture to our artwork. And I think it just looks really cool. It's inexpensive, so why not try it out?